A thing of beauty is joy forever. John Cates. Vanakam. This is Salem Sundar. Salem Sundar's tea. The English Academy welcomes you wholeheartedly to the poetry series. Hope you might have come across the explanation of uh, poems, figures of speech, etc., both in English and Tamil. Thank you for having watched and uh, thanks in advance for listening to this one. A thing of beauty is joy forever by John Cage, a British romantic poet. The romantic period is 1785 to 1832. The famous poets and their writings in that particular period, they belong to this romantic age. That's why it is called a romantic poet. Fine. Uh, John Cage was born in London in the year 1795 and died in Rome 1821 at the young age of 25 due to illness. What a pathetic condition. But you can never forget his contribution. Right on. This thing of beauty is uh, an excerpt from the epic poem Endymion. A poetic romance composed in 1818. Background of this poem is a Greek mythology. Based on Greek mythology about a shepherd named Endymion, his quest for his love Diana and how in his quest he falls in love with an earthly maiden who later turns out to be Diana herself. Well, now let's have uh, the summary in a nutshell. A thing of beauty. Beauty is a source of endless joy. It is like a shady shelter that fetches us sound and peaceful sleep. Our attachments to the earthly things are like a flowery wreath which forbids us the eternal happiness. <coughs> the earth is full of hatred, greed and negativity. And gloom and sadness caused by this negativity fades away with the positive vibes of the beautiful things such as the radiant energy through sun, the cool and ambience through the moon, the shady trees around us, frolic animals like sheep, enlivening flowers like daffodils, streams that cover earth and protect us from summer, the forest full of pretty musk rose flowers and also impact of the great leaders who laid their lives to protect the people. These beautiful things are like a fountain of immortality bestowed upon us. They inspire us to live on and maintain our faith in goodness. Well, now the highlighted in yellow portion is the poem the red lettered uh, fonts are the explanation and needless to say these images will give you a better understanding right oh now let us jump into the poem <coughs> a thing of beauty is a joy forever its loveliness increases it will never pass into nothingness that is the delight derived through enjoying the beauty is eternal the blithe spirit never decreases to zero. Here the poet compares the flowery wreath to the earthly attachment, a kind of metaphor. Well the next one, Bhava, but will keep a Bhava quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. So here Bhava, Bhava is a shady place, a shady place in a garden or forest. Here the poet compares it with a good health and a tranquility that is peace. Uh, this is also a kind of metaphor. <coughs> the cheerful beauty not only brings us sound sleep with sweet dreams and a cool shade but also good health and peaceful life. Therefore, on every morrow, are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth? Every now and then, we attach ourselves to the earthly wealth like a flowery wreath. Our attachments to the earthly things are like a flowery wreath. They are traps which bind us to the materialistic things and keeps us away from eternal happiness. The earth is full of hatred, greed and negativity. Spite of despondence, 
of the inhuman dearth of noble natures of the gloomy days of all the unhealthy over darkened ways made for our searching here spite means desire to offend or annoy someone so spite of despondence is a kind of hopelessness a dejectedness caused by the qualities that we bear with us dearth means scarcity we possess the evil qualities of malice and disappointment we suffer from the lack of noble qualities that's why we feel despondent yes in spite of all some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits pall the pall pall is a dark cloud which is compared to the hatred greed and negativity of the people the earth is full of hatred and greed and negativity according to keats the gloom and sadness caused by this negativity fades away with the positive vibes of the beautiful things that surround us well what are the beautiful things that surround us such uh, the sun the moon trees old and young sprouting a shady boon for the simple sheep and such a daffodils with green world they live in and clear rills that for themselves a cooling cover make against the hot season break fern the mid forest break rich with a sprinkling of fair musk rose blooms so these are the beautiful things that is sun moon trees animals flowers rills i mean rivers this break ferns which give coolness and musk roses and such to is grandeur of the dooms that is death we have imagined for the mighty dead who are the mighty dead all lovely tales that we have he- heard or read the mighty dead are the famous saviors like mahatma gandhi nelson mandela churchill martin luther abraham lincoln mother teresa napoleon julie like these we come across hear about them a uh, noble things all these that is the sun the moon the flora and fauna forests full of flowers rivers um the soul inspiring great leaders lives like oh these are the beautiful things are ah, an endless fountain of immortal drink pouring unto us from the heaven spring so these beautiful things are like a fountain of immortality bestowed upon us by god they inspire us to live on and maintain our faith in goodness let us recall the gist of the poem beautiful things is a source of endless joy which never fades away it is like a shady shelter brings us a sleep full of sweet dreams good health and tranquility our attachments to the earthly things are like a flowery wreath also they are the traps and keeps us uh, away from the eternal happiness the earth is full of hatred greed and negativity and gloom and sadness caused by this negativity fades away with the positive vibes of beautiful things sur- that surround us keeps a list of the some of uh, the beautiful things ar- around us <coughs> that surround us the sun the moon the trees that provide shade through like animals like sheep and living beautiful flowers like daffodils streams that cover that earth and protects us from summer the forest full of pretty masters flowers lives of brave leaders who laid their lives lives to the to protect their people lives of the brave soldiers who laid their lives to protect their people all these beautiful things are like a fountain of immortality bestowed upon us by us they inspire us to live on and maintain our faith in good thank you thank you for having listened to me patiently and in the next episode let us go for figures of switch see you in the next episode bye bye